Meu nome é Janaína, eu sou do Brasil, faço parte do grupo Ohana Raízes. No primeiro dia a gente fez uma apresentação de percussão em dança africana no mercado. Toquei primeiro o surdão e em seguida eu dancei danças africanas junto com minhas parceiras. E finalizamos a dança com o samba de roda, que é bem brasileiro. Uh, depois no final todos gostaram. E depois a gente foi para o Cirque du Soleil. E isso foi muito bom, porque eu nunca tinha visto isso antes. E foi muito bom, porque o costume foi muito realista e tudo. Eu sou Cristina, eu sou 14, eu sou de York, Inglaterra. Eu sou Adam Elithiri, de Westside Circus, na Austrália. No terceiro dia, nós começamos com uma caminhada aboriginal, que envolveu uma cerimônia de recebimento. Nós fizemos weaving, que envolveu fazer bracelets específicos para a ocasião. We also did ochre painting of faces to symbolize pictures or places, and we did a traditional walk that followed by readings of elders past. Then for lunch we had a barbecue. I was surprised at how much I liked the kangaroo. In the afternoon, us from Australia held a workshop based around the circus skills that we had learned through the years with Westside. My favorite part of the afternoon workshop was the trampolining with Adam because um, It was just really funny and also I got pretty good at it at the end, not gonna lie. My name is Ali, I am uh, from Sweden. On the day four, uh, we did a lot of uh, drama and uh, we have fun. I learned something like uh, I can trust my friend and we work together. In the afternoon it was in, uh, we were in a uh, tour in Melbourne City and Jens show us the Melbourne City. Hi, my name is Luke and I'm from the United Kingdom. On the fifth day, of us British students, we taught all the other students how to play rounders, which is a traditional bat and ball game played in the UK. And then after that, in the afternoon, we did a circus workshop. And there we did juggling, human pyramid, and trapeze, which were all quite physically challenging. And for the evening activity, we had an intercultural sharing hosted by Sweden. No sexto dia, nós fizemos a convivência com vários instrumentos com o povo que estava dentro da casa, que seria o grupo da Suécia, da Austrália e da Inglaterra. Passamos eles em cinco grupos com cinco instrumentos, que seria o berimbau, a gogo, a djembe, os duluns com o surdão e congas. On the seventh day, in the morning, we played a nice natural game of Australian rules football in which we had to teach every other country how to play. They learned very quickly and it was an amazing experience. I wish everyone could have joined. And then in the afternoon, it was followed by rehearsals for a show we put together. The show then happened later in the evening in front of a real audience, and they, the applause was absolutely phenomenal. I think I learned to converse with many people, to understand that there are differences between nations and peoples. I learned how, even though from such a long distance, people can still have the same thoughts and humor. I've become pretty close with some of the Brazilians even though we speak different languages. I learned some English sport and uh, Australian football and some drama and percussion. I've grown in my own confidence and my confidence with team building and teamwork. I learned that we have to work in a team to be able to do something, that one helps the other, we can get there. We have to be willing to learn and always be willing to discover new things, new cultures. I think this kind of project is really, really useful. It helps to build so many social skills that are really useful in everyday life. As well as it being just a great time, it, you also learn a lot from it. So yeah, it's very beneficial. Ooh.